Reality is so much stranger than conspiracy theories. And it's what drives me nuts about RFK Jr. or QAnon or Joe Rogan in his free thinking audience. They are so close. They're like, there's a group of the richest, most powerful people in the world. Yes, who are concentrating their power. Uh-huh. Buying off politicians. Right? And working together to track you using tiny computers in the vaccine. Oh! Do y'all know about DuPont? They put a chemical in your blood that causes six diseases, mostly cancer, and it's in the blood of 99.7% of people on Earth. They invented this chemical. They uh, put it in their workers' cigarettes and found out that it was really bad. They knew it never breaks down in nature. They saw other companies stop producing it, and they kept going. And they dumped millions of pounds of it in the Ohio River into the drinking water. And now it's in your blood. Now it's in everybody's blood. Did anyone go to jail for this? No, no. Actually, DuPont still exists, which is wild. That's wild. And it's incredibly profitable. They made $6 billion last year in profits. Opioid companies? The family that made Oxycontin raked in $10 billion off of it. One family, one company, one drug. $10 billion in profit and they knew it was addictive. They knew it was killing people. Opioid overdoses killed 71,238 Americans last year, which is 22,000 more Americans than died in Vietnam. And nobody's gone to jail. Real story. No imagination required. Big Tobacco knew it was addictive and killed people, hired doctors and scientists to say that it wasn't, and it didn't. Killed millions, made billions, no jail. Do you know how profitable Big Tobacco is today? More profitable than Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Nestle, General Mills, and Starbucks combined. True story. People are cooking under a record heat dome in Texas and choking on smoke in the Midwest from... Canada being on fire? Canada being on fire. Exxon knew its products would cause this in the 70s. They hired scientists to deny it, bought politicians. We know more about it today than ever. And we're approving drilling permits at record paces. Real story, don't have to make it up. But millions of people pass all of that shit up and choose to believe that the world's most powerful people gather bi-weekly at the Doubletree to consume the blood of children.